Hello and welcome back to the Object Oriented and Functional Programming section of Free Code Camp. Today we're looking at condense arrays with reduce. The array method reduce is used to iterate through an array and condense it into one value. To use reduce, you pass in a callback whose arguments are an accumulator, in this case previous val and the current value, current val. The accumulator is like a total that reduce keeps track of after each operation. The current value is just the next element in the array you're iterating through. Reduce has an optional second argument which can be used to set the initial value of the accumulator. If no initial value is specified, it will be the first array element and current val will start with the second array element. Here's an example of reduce being used to subtract all the values of an array. So here we can see this variable single val takes in this array and applies the reduce method, which is a callback with two parameters of previous val and current val. And what it does is it returns previous val minus current val. And it says use the reduce method to sum all the values in array and assign it to single val. So here we're subtracting. Uh, they want us to instead though is to use the reduce me method to sum all the values in the array and assign it to single val. So we want uh, all these each time when it uses reduce each time through the iteration we want it to sum the next number next number until all of them are summed so only change code below this line if we go here to line 7 or we already have single val here which we can go ahead and use and we're gonna do also array because that's the name of this right here array we're gonna do dot reduce because that's the method we want to apply to array it's going to take a callback, so that's our function, and we want it to take previous val and current val. Pretty much how we've seen it done in the example. And then we have that. Make sure we close with the parentheses here. And we want it to return previous val plus current val. If we look over here, pretty much looks the same. Uh, we have single val and it's assigned array dot reduce uh, array dot reduce and it's a callback function with two parameters, previous val, current val, like so. And it will return each time through the iteration 4 plus 5, then whatever that is, uh, plus 6, and then whatever that is, plus 7, and whatever that is, plus 8, and then it stops at the end of the last element. And that should be it for this lesson, and that should accomplish these things, which single val should be equal to the sum of all the items in the array variable, and you should have made use of the reduce method. Reduce method. So, run test. As you can see, we got 30, and if you guys go ahead and add that up, it should be 30. And that is it for this lesson, that is using the reduce method.